Diphyllobotrium latum. This parasite is also known as broad tapeworm or fish tapeworm and they are also called largest tapeworm of human due to its size. And these parasites uh, can be found in man, dog, cat, pig, polar bear and different other fish eating mammals. This parasite lives in a small intestine of this final host. There are two intermediate hosts. Uh, the first one is copepod crustacean that is cyclops. So maybe you are not uh, aware of what is cyclops. So cyclops is one of the most common genera of freshwater copepods comprises over 4,000 species. And these individuals may range from 0.5 to 5 millimeters in long. And they are mostly found in fresh water. And these cyclops uh, act as the intermediate host for the completion of life cycle of Diphyllobotrium, Latum, and another parasite that is called Dracunculus medinensis. And the common name of that parasite is called guinea worm. And the second intermediate host for this particular parasite is Plato's, uh, different freshwater fish. And in this fish, Plerosarcoid will be developed. So this is the picture of prosarcoid. This is very, very tiny structure. Around, you can see the scale bar to understand or to assume what would be their size. And this will be developed in cyclops and another metacystode that is called plerosarcoid. This is also very tiny structure and this will be developed in the musculature of different freshwater fish. Pathogenic significance and clinical signs uh, during diphyllobotriasis or diphyllobotria blatum infection. So one of the important reasons for starting this parasite because uh, this parasite causes vitamin B12 deficiency in men and animals. So in case of the light infection, uh, it is asymptomatic, but in mild to heavy infection in animal, uh, different clinical signs such as intermittent diarrhea, constipation, abdominal sign can be found. In man, uh, the signs are also non-specific. This include abdominal pain and loss of weight. But one of the uh, important clinical sign is vitamin B12 deficiency. And this is actually the macrocytic hypochromic anemia resembling to pernicious type anemia. So vitamin D B12 deficiency uh, occurs in heavy infection. And in one of the study, uh, it was observed that diphyllobotrium latum absorbed 10 to 50 times higher vitamin B12 from the intestine of the host compared to other parasite. So in fish, it also produces some pathology as well as some clinical sign or findings. Uh, you know that this pleurosarcoids will be encysted in the viscera and musculature of the freshwater fishes. And due to the migration of these larval stages, it may produce damages in the musculature and sometimes sterility and even death of the fish. So diagnosis of diphyllobotrium latum infection or diphyllobotriosis. It is uh, hard to diagnose this parasitic infection by observing clinical signs or clinical findings, but confirmatory diagnosis can be, can be done based on coproscopy. After, uh, during coproscopy, characteristics X can be found and these eggs are golden brown in color and operculated. Sometimes it could be confused with the eggs of fasciola, but the size of this egg is almost half of the uh, half the size of the egg of fasciola species. So these are the reference books that have that I have used during preparing this uh, presentation. And I have also used a lot of uh, open source information from internet. 
and finally as usual thank you so much for watching this video